What's up, Buck fans? Today we're back again with another draft prospect breakdown. Today it's third round pick Keyshawn Vaughn, running back out of Vanderbilt. He's a smaller in stature, running back 5'10, 215, around there. Smaller hands, smaller arms, but he was an SEC running back and he was productive. Plus, what do you see from him? Yeah, I mean, when I look at Keyshawn, again, he's just, he's very solid. You know, that's what comes to mind. Very good player that can pretty much do everything that you want out of back. And I think he's going to be a very nice compliment uh, to Rojo. You know, he's a guy that can, you know, he's a north and south runner. He knows how to finish. Uh, I like that he always falls forward for extra yards um, and just really does everything pretty well. Uh, he sets up blocks. Um, he can make big plays happen when he gets in the open open field. Um, I believe he's had over, you know, I think three or more 60-yard plays at, at Vanderbilt. So he's a playmaker when he gets out in space, and he can do some things. So I, I like him. Yeah, I mean, he's not a breakaway speed type of guy, four five one, But I think this is a prototypical type of guy. I, they compare him to Jamal Williams. I see him more of a James White, smaller, shiftier, but just not elite traits anywhere. But let's look more into it, and let's see him in game film. Again, like we were just saying, Keyshawn Vaughn, he's not elite at all at anything, but he just gets the job done. And you can see, again, SEC catching the ball, doing something with it, and like Plus said, follow, always falling forward. What do you see? Yeah, I like you know I like the play here. You know They know his strengths are getting out in space, and they do a good job here setting up this little bubble screen here to the left. And he does a great job of just, again, falling forward, picks up the first down. Yeah, and, and I like how it's it's a natural catch. It's not like he's re reaching really hard or really body. I mean, he is catching with the body, but it's a smooth transition, and he gets up very right. quick. Yeah, not fighting it, and uh, yeah, continues yeah. to move seamlessly you know, down the down the left sideline. And then I like that little change of direction, trying to draw the defender more inside, bounces it outside, give me a, a little shimmy. And just like you said, always falling forward. Yeah, he does a great job of pressing the line of scrimmage. Um, and then, you know, he's got great ankle flexibility where he can, you know, change direction. And I guess a knock on him is tight hipped. I mean, you can kind of see it here, like our Clyde Edwards Hilaire video, like he would make this an explosive move. His butt would get down right. and he'd explode outside. So he just doesn't get really low in his cuts. But still, it's getting the job done, getting outside. He almost fell there, but still. Yeah. Controlled movement. Yeah, he's a little upright runner, but uh, you know it can be you know tight at, at times, like you said. But yeah, I mean, look at this play here. Vision, right? Does a good job. Yep. You know, cutting it back again, falling forward at the end there. So I mean, he understands. He understands blocking assignments. He understands the lanes that are supposed to be there. Again, pressing the line of scrimmage is what I like. You know, really hiding himself from the linebackers, and he's got enough burst where he can get through that hole. I mean, because you don't need elite traits to be a good running back. You just need to find your hole. I mean, yeah, last year we just couldn't run the ball at all because we didn't have many holes. But right. now we're going to have two guys in Rojo and Vaughn that can make something happen. And this is going to give Rojo a break, even though he's going to be the number one back. But I really like Vaughn's ability. I mean, even though he's got make and miss just right there. Yeah. I mean, this is this is pretty good stuff here. I'll just break it down slow. Mm -hmm. Easy. Yeah, he Free, free edge rusher coming in, make you miss. And then that's Kinlaw, who we loved in the draft too, trying to reach with an arm. An arm's not going to bring him down. He gets to open space. So it's not like he's that tight. Like a lot of right. people think he's just an average runner. Yeah, he does a great job getting low right there. And he's he's able to continue his acceleration to the left here, which is very impressive. And then you watch, once he cuts to the left here, he can do a good job of – Cutting it back yeah. upfield. And then north and south, too. Like, it's already yeah. a blown play. This blocker didn't do anything to help him. You lead two, lead two, get upfield, because you're not going to keep cutting this outside. Right. Cut upfield, break a tackle, keep going, hold on to the ball. And we made a gain of, like, 10 when he could have lost three. I like that run. And natural right. setting up blocks. Right. Yeah, so you're, you're just drawing defenders. Okay, I'm going to push this outside, right? No, I'm going to cut it back inside because I'm having my block sit up. Really nice. Mm -hmm. Yep, and again, you know, natural 
natural ability to to fall forward there at the end. And I just like how he's always his feet are moving, um, always keeping those legs yeah. driving forward. Always dragging guys. Mm-hmm. And so again, setting up blocks. Like, watch it slowly. I mean, so again, it's no, there's no massive holes anywhere. I mean, the guy is there. He's going to get an arm tackle there. He just goes run through. Sets this block up. Cuts up field. Bounce, tries to bounce it outside again. He's not the fastest, so he's got to get what he can. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he does a great job of, of doing that. No wasted movement. Uh, he's always, you know, getting positive yards, which I really like. Yeah, and that's really what that's really what you want from your running backs, you know. And I think Rojo does a great job of that as well. You know, making sure he gets what he can. So it's arm tackle here. Gets through that. Yep. Trying to set up a block here. Sets it up right there with the receiver. Cuts back upfield with a jump hop. I really like that. He has a natural jump hop. Yeah, almost gets to the outside there. Yeah. Field still doesn't go down. That's a big thing we see in running backs, contact balance. And then here, again, pressing the line. Gets really close to the offensive tackle. Mm-hmm. Gets upfield. Guy's going for his legs. Shrugs it off. Just keeps going. Yeah, really good run. Again, he just... Keeps his head up. Oh, this is going to be nasty. Watch this one. Oh, no. This is another one. But still, contact balance, pushing forward. And this is later in the game. This is like the fourth quarter. They need a first down. I mean, look at all the guys in the box, too. Right. They're loaded in the box. So they got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight guys up on the line. You can call him. He's already low. There's only one deep safety. So mm-hmm. they're trying to stop the run. Everyone's coming in. He's just yeah. reading his blocks. Again, breaks through the arm tackle. Breaks through another tackle. Keeps rolling. Really good run. Yeah, I love that. I love his his ability to navigate through traffic. Again, there's instant traffic right here. The guy's got penetration, and he just goes right by him. Does a great job of just keep fighting through. And I love that. You know, ends up picking up the first down. Yeah, he forces you to wrap him up. I mean, if you're just going to shoulder at his legs, he's he's got enough. He's lowering himself into it, absorbing the hit, and keeps going. Yeah, he's going to run right through that. Yeah, really good. Again, another SEC foe. is Missouri. Yeah, here's a really good run right yeah. here. Yeah. Just shakes him out of his feet. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Again, he's not elite, but he knows how to set it up, and he knows where he's trying to go. He's not going to bounce this outside for damn sure, so nope. make him think he's going to, and he just – Beats two guys right there. Yeah. And then again, falling forward, picks up the first down. <laughs> so, right. yeah, I mean, it's just a great run. And we'll see this run later on in, in the uh, in the video. Yeah, so he gets hit here, drags him for another three, four, five yards, six yeah. yards. Wow. Yeah, gets the first down. Good run. Great. Crazy. Come down. There's another run. Oh, I think we saw this earlier. But yeah. again, yeah, that's a reverse angle. Just a different angle of it. Again, just great job of finding his lanes. And like you said, yeah, you're not going to bring him down on the on the legs there. you got to wrap him up. Yeah. I mean, it's just nothing special, but he does all the little things right. Mm-hmm. Here's the big play. That's right. Mm-hmm. And I like it from the other angle. It shows his contact balance again. People going for his legs. He just keeps going. Right. And he's got he's got really good speed once he's out in the open space. Like he knows how to finish runs, and uh, he does a great job here, just running through. Yeah, so he goes for his legs. Nope, yeah, I got not, this. Not gonna get him. And then he continues to accelerate, which is really good. Doesn't slow down. Picks up speed as he's going. And I like the ponytail there. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. There we go again. Yeah, here's a little hands showing his catching ability. Give me the damn ball. Yeah, it's a nice catch. And then getting into the guy's face. <laughs> He's like, yep. <laughs> yeah, and it's move. very subtle movements. I mean, like this little subtle play he does here. So he sees the guy coming in his the, the hole he was trying to go into, shuffles inside just to elude him, lets the block mm-hmm. set up. There's nothing there. Bounces off the offensive lineman. Continue going. Get upfield. Like little things. Like you can't expect Ezekiel Elliott in the third round, to be honest. <laughs> mm-hmm. Again, the little shuffle jump cut that I really like. 
jump in that lane that you're trying to get into, get upfield. Yeah, that's really good. Again, just always falling forward. Good job of, I mean, here we see it again. One thing I was talking about is like consistency and production. I mean, he was he had two thousand yard seasons in the SEC. Right. That's tough yeah. to do. Yeah. Jump cut. I was talking about. Get in your lane. Get upfield. Head down. Yeah, I mean, when you look at it, this guy was the offense for Vanderbilt, and here's the run from earlier. Again, just nice showing the shake and bake there. And I love how he just keeps running. You know, he's just gonna yeah. keep running through these guys. Like you were saying, keeping your keeping your feet forward, running forward. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he makes the cut, but then immediately after making the cut, he's running. Yep. It's not like a jump cut and then decide what I'm going to do. It's I already know I got to get the hell up field, gain some yards. Yeah, he does a really good job of just keeping everything together. Um, here's a nice run here to the outside. Again, running, cutting, through contact. Again, as you see, this is Kentucky here. So, yeah, yeah he doesn't have elite speed but he can get to the corner and then cut to find his hole where he sees an alley get up field break through the tackle touchdown mm-hmm. yeah this is pretty much he's doing it because like there's two guys already in his face his blockers pulling that's <laughs> it should have been a holding right <laughs> but yeah i mean he's he's pretty much the offense for vanderbilt like i was saying i mean he's he was their star player they didn't really have a passing game to lean on Again, here's another nice run. Contact balance. Kind of awkward fall there, but... Uh, and then, again, speed. Just It's kind of the same speed. Once he gets the ball, it's, it's consistent. Just There's no second gear. It's just go. But, again, yeah, like, like he's, he's getting through all this traffic. Mm-hmm. One arm tackle. Keeps going. Breaks it. Other guy trying to hit him while he's being tackled. Spin through it. Break through it. Get on to the second level. Mm-hmm. Fumble, but yeah. I Again, mean, look at the effort. Little, yeah, a little awkward fall there. Hopefully, he he was okay after this play. But, oh, he's uh, a warrior. He's a warrior. He ain't. yeah good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here's the last play. Again, this is what you saw in the New England Patriots game plan all the time. Just a running back mm-hmm. in the middle of the field, easy outlet for Brady. Yeah. He doesn't make the play, but shiftiness to get open i mean if he catches this yeah, there's all that play. wide open space yeah big play but yeah he knows this, it too right and then the suddenness okay i got a linebacker one-on-one think i'm going outside nope mm-hmm. this Definitely. here and then another little settle cut just to get yeah. into open space i mean if he catches this it'd be awesome but mm-hmm. and yeah like you're saying he knows he's pissed yeah he should have made the play right Overall, I mean, there's a lot to like. There's just nothing elite. But let's go overall what we think about him and see how he fits in with the Bucks best. So overall, Keyshawn Vaughn, I mean, I really like what he can bring to the Bucks on on the service. I mean, he can catch the ball. He can run with aggressiveness. He may be a little tight-hipped, but he seems like a prototypical running back that Brady would like. And well, a guy that will just get the job done. If Rojo's going to be the exciting player. He'll just be the guy that will crunch it down the field and pick up what you can. I mean, I don't have a really big comparison for him besides like an Ernest Graham slash James White type of type of player. Well, what do you see on him? Yeah, no, I, I agree with that. I think he's going to be a solid player that you can depend on. I think he's a guy that can come in and, you know, sub for Rojo when needed. And I think he can provide big playability at the same time. So I think it's going to be a good change of pace back for Rojo. And you'll have – you know, Vaughn in there to, you know, just add some different things um, to the table where he can be that tough runner, get you some tough yards as well, um, make some plays in the passing game, and, you know, also be a solid, um, you know, pass protector as, as far as, you know, picking up blitzes and stuff of that nature. So, you know, I, I like the pick. I think he's going to be a guy that, you know, after, you know, that's, that's what you're going to get from him. Just solid production, a guy that's going to be consistent. And, and, you know, that's what you want from the running back position. Hell, I mean, you hope at the end of the day he's something like a Frank Gore. Because Frank Gore doesn't have anything elite. He just does everything right. And Mm -hmm. that's what the ceiling is. But let's see what his true value is. But with that said, if you guys like the video, please like, share, subscribe. Do all that good stuff. Help us out down below.